Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Anoush from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to completely unroot the Nexus 6 on a Mac computer. If you guys do have a Windows computer, go and check out that annotation right there on how to do it on Windows, a step-by-step -step guide. Um, very similar to this video, but it is a little bit different because of the OS. Um, so this video is going to be completely unrooting the Nexus 6, removing any important information, including app, app data, documents, music, movies, all that good stuff. So make sure you do back it up to the cloud, onto your uh, computer, external hard drive, anything but on this phone. Um, and this will also remove any sign of root, remove any boot loops, also remove uh, any custom ROMs, any custom recoveries, anything like that, it will all be removed and it'll look like just the day you first bought it and it'll also be safe enough for you to send back to your carrier, uh, Google, or even Motorola. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So first thing you're gonna be doing is go ahead and power off your phone. So press the power button and select power off and give it a few seconds to fully power off. Okay, so once it is fully powered off, we can go ahead and enter into bootloader mode. So go ahead and press and hold the power button and volume down button at the exact same time, just like that. And you'll go ahead and enter into this screen. You'll see a green start screen just like that. Um, and that means you're good to go. And now go ahead and plug in your Nexus 6 to your, mic, uh, to your Mac computer via micro USB cable, um, just like this. It'll say, transfer mode, USB connected, and it says battery okay charging. Um, that means it's connected and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and head down to our Mac computer and finish up this process. Alrighty, so as you can see on my Mac desktop, um, here's my desktop right here. Um, as you can see on my Mac desktop, I have this folder or file called unrootnexus6.zip. Now go ahead and download this file. I'll be it'll be linked down below with also with a written step-by-step -step, uh, guide uh, linked down below in the video description uh, where you can go ahead and pick up this file. Um, make sure you go ahead and download it to your desktop. Um, if you don't download it to your desktop, you're gonna run into a lot of terminal command issues. So make sure you go ahead and download it to your desktop because that's how we're gonna be typing in the commands. Obviously, if you're a little bit more advanced, you don't have to follow my rules, but if you don't know what you're doing, download it to your Mac desktop. Um, it's a must. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go ahead and double click on it, and it's automatically gonna extract. So just give it a few seconds. Okay, so here's the folder right here, um, and we can go ahead and open up the folder just to show you what's included. Um, so all these are the contents we're gonna be using um, to actually go and perform the unrooting process and restoring it back to stock. Now go ahead and use a little search bar right there and open up terminal. So we're just gonna go and search terminal and open it up. And here is terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and type in everything within terminal, and it's a pretty basic process, and um, we're gonna be typing in commands, a lot of commands. So if you don't wanna sit through this and manually type it in, you can go ahead and click on that one link I mentioned down, uh, earlier with a, that'll link you to my article I wrote where you can go ahead and just copy and paste all these commands onto terminal and just press enter after each line. It's a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna be showing you the manual way. You can do either or. Um, if it's easier for you, just go and copy and paste it. Um, so first thing we're doing is go ahead and type in CD space desktop like that, enter. Then we're gonna type in CD space unroot nexus six, enter. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and type in dot slash fastboot dash max space flash space bootloader space bootloader dash. And then you can just go ahead and hit on tab. It'll automatically fill it in, go and press enter and it'll automatically do all of it and it says finished, that means you can go and move on. So you can do dot slash uh, fastboot dash max space reboot dash bootloader. Okay, now dot slash fastboot dash max space flash space radio space radio tab. It'll automatically fill it in. You can go and press enter and you'll be good. And give it a few seconds. Okay, dot slash fastboot dash mac reboot oop mac space reboot dash bootloader just like that okay and now we're gonna go ahead and do dot slash fastboot dash mac flash space system space system tab it'll automatically fill it in just like that and we can go ahead and press enter and it'll go and send it. Um, uh, since system is a little bit bigger file, it will take about two to three minutes, so be patient. 
Okay, so since that's done, we're going to move on. We're going to do dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space user data space user data tab enter and it'll go ahead and do it. Um, this one will take a little bit of time too, so be patient. Now we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash mac flash space boot space boot and do not use tab this time, just type it in manually um, boot dot img enter. Um, if you do tab, it messes it up since there's another uh, file uh, start that starts with boot too. Um, now we're going to go ahead and type in dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space recovery space recov and you can go ahead and do tab enter it'll flash it and now we're going to type in dot slash fastboot dash mac erase cache enter and we're almost done dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space cache space cache dot img enter and uh, lastly is dot, uh, dot slash fastboot dash mac space oem space lock and this is going to lock our bootloader and we are done with mac so now we're going to go ahead and head back to our uh, phone okay now you can go ahead and unplug it since we're done using it with our mac computer now go ahead and using the volume up and down press the volume down twice until you see recovery mode and then press the power button and this is going to enter us into recovery mode and uh, most likely we're going to see a dead android Okay, yes, so we do see a dead Android with his chest open. So to go and fix this and to enter into actually uh, stock recovery mode, we're going to go ahead and press the power button, volume up, and volume down button um, all at the same time for five or six times in a row. So I'll go and show you that. So all three, press them um, at the exact same time, fi uh, you know, five or six times in a row. Um, so I'll show you that. It's kind of hard. You're going to need two hands. Um, so just press all three. Okay, so it actually worked on the first time. But you just have to press all three five or six times until you see it. Um, I'm probably going to make a separate video on that, um, more detailed and step by step on how to do that, um, just in case if you run into that. I know a lot of people ask that uh, for help a lot of the time, so I might as, might as well just make a video. Um, so here, once you're in stock recovery, using the volume up and down, go ahead and navigate all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. So that's the third one down, and then press the power button. And then go ahead and go all the way down where it says yes, delete all user data, and select the power button again. And that is going to go ahead. Let me go and show you that. Um, and that is going to go ahead and wipe everything off your phone, and that will prevent you from having a boot loop. And as you can see, you can see the status at the bottom of the Nexus 6 screen. Do not power off your phone. Do not press and hold the power button because you think it's frozen. It is not frozen. Give it five minutes. This process will take about five minutes, so be patient. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move down all the way down to where it says wipe cache partition. It is the fourth one down. Once again, press the power button, and you can see the status at the bottom of the screen. Give it a few more minutes, and we're almost done. Okay, so now we're all completely done with wiping our phone. Go ahead and select the very first one, which is reboot system now. Press the power button and this is going to reboot our phone and the boot up will take a little bit of time just because we installed a fresh new OS, we wiped our phone, we did all this wiping and you know it's going to take a little bit of time for the very first initial boot up. So please do be patient, you are not stuck in a boot loop, you are fine, just give it 5 minutes and the boot up will be there. And here we are with the boot up screen, um, this is just like the same, um, just like when you first bought it from your carrier or Google or Motorola. Um, so let me go and skip through all this, we'll go ahead and go into about phone and show you the rest um, to show you that everything is working properly. So I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. It says welcome and all that. Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and go into settings and about phone. Oh, we're going to go to settings. All the way down to about phone. And as you can see, we're on 5.0.1, Nexus 6. Everything is all good. Um, build numbers all there. We can go ahead and turn on developer options if you want. And we should now have developer options right here. Um, so everything is set just like before. Um, and if you go ahead and tap on model number, or actually Android version, there we go. Um, you should see the uh, lollipop with changing colors, which is really, really nice. Um, and it wants me to um, actually have a lollipop right now. <laughs> um, so that's how you guys do it. Um, pretty basic step-by-step -step guide. 
Um, like I mentioned earlier, all the files, a written step-by-step -step guide is linked down below in the video description if you guys are interested. Um, but that, ha that is how you unroot it, unbrick it, and restore your Nexus 6 back to 1% factory stock settings. And it is safe enough for you to send back to Google, Motorola, or even your carrier without them ever knowing you modified it or did anything bad by their standards to your phone. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as I'm going to be having so much more video content related to the Nexus 6 and so much more content just related to Android in general. So if you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned for that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to share this on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus by using the share button down below. Until next time, peace.